Hello! We are doing some exercises that includes yoga, but also a little stretching Pilates. So it's not traditional yoga for the pelvic floor. However, yoga is about the mind, connecting the mind and body and spirit. So even while you're doing these, you can be doing yoga, even though it's not traditional yoga, because you're connected in with your body. So just be mindful during them. And the big thing that we're working with today is engaging the pelvic floor muscles. So we will be tightening and lifting the pelvic floor muscles, drawing them up in the exercise, and then in between, relaxing the floor muscles. So try that with me now, just however you are seated. Lift, squeeze and hold. Breathe normal and relax. And don't worry if you can't hold the pelvic floor muscle for the entire time. Just take a little break holding it and then well, you can hold it again, but hold the posture or pose. So you can loosen the muscle if you need to to rest, but pelvic floor muscles will get stronger very quickly. So let's begin. Okay, so sit on a mat or just a flat, comfortable floor, like a carpet. Taking some deep breaths, grounding in, feeling your sit bones on the floor. A natural straight spine with your shoulders back, head up. Crown lifted. The first one is like a modified butterfly turtle tortoise pose. You have butterfly legs, but then you move them a little bit further out. And I like to just grab under my ankles because what you're going to do is you're going to push outwards against your feet to create a curve in the back. So just curve down, drop your head, relax your head, and then use your hands to push. You should feel a stretch in your lower back. Breathing, and then lift and engage your pelvic floor muscles, and relax everything, come out of that. And then pull in your feet to as far as you can get them in and just flap them like a butterfly. Flap, flap, flap. Warming up your hips, inner thigh muscles. going to come into a pigeon pose slide your right leg behind you and go into a pigeon pose you can go into that any way that you can ah, breathe here breathe into your back leg the top of your quad where it connects to your hips right here and then breathing into that front leg and hip. And then come down as low as you can. Relax and breathe. Pelvic floor muscles are just relaxed. You can even think about de-stressing them, exhaling out. Pelvic floor muscles, hips, everything. And then however you can, switch sides, maybe through plank. First breathing here at the top. <sighs> Letting that back leg relax where all the hip muscles attach. And then exhale over your front leg.
move any direction and hold it wherever the stretch feels good for you today. <sighs> Exhaling out your pelvic floor. And then come up. So you can just move your legs out in front of you. And then come down flat on your back. Maybe bend your knees first and then drop them to try to get your lower back grounded. Some people do have a naturally curved spine. So don't worry if your back won't go flat. Mine actually won't go flat unless I really curve it up. <sighs> so we're going to be doing bridge pose twice. So using your hands however you like, either flat on the floor or holding underneath and push all the way up and then engage the pelvic floor muscles, meaning lifting them up, squeezing your Kegel muscles and holding the squeeze. So this is good because it also allows you to squeeze your glutes, which helps give more awareness. So when you're holding Kegels in an exercise like this and squeezing all the other muscles, it helps beginners more because you're engaging other muscles around the hip area. So a little bit longer hold here. Breathing and still holding. And exhale down, release your pelvic floor muscles. And one more time, bridge pose, press up, squeeze your pelvic floor muscles, your vagina muscles, and breathing, still holding everything, squeezing your glutes, squeezing your inner thighs in just a little so they're engaged. Maybe you even want to lift one leg straight out and then switch, lift the other, still holding your Kegel muscles if you can, and then down. And a few more seconds, lift and squeeze. Exhale, release everything. Maybe roll on your spine a little after that. And then the next one is definitely not a yoga exercise traditionally. But we're being mindful of our bodies, so it is yoga. So what you're going to do is slide your feet back and forth. So you might need like a towel or something or something that you can slide with. Otherwise, just lightly float and drift your feet. The big thing is engaging your muscles, so everything is relaxed here. And then draw your feet in. Again, relaxed out, everything's flat. And then draw everything in, squeeze your pelvic floor muscles and lower ab muscles, relax. And then again, so just going with a breath, squeezing and relaxing. This is great for people that have lower back issues that can't do a lot of ab work. Since this one is supported, you can do this working your lower and upper abs and your Kegels at the same time. So you can be doing Kegel exercises in the gym and no one knows. And again, and exhale down, that's it. <sighs> Relax. Okay, come standing. Oh, so. This is going to be a goddess squat, a very wide squat, and your hands however you like. So I just like to stand here because I can be nice and strong. Some here, maybe some people here, maybe some people out here. Wherever you are, just engage your legs and lift that Kegel muscles, lift the Kegel muscles up, hold them. And relax and then squat down, probably sliding your feet in. And just relax here. Let everything drop 
Let your vagina muscles drop and relax. Breathing into the pelvic floor. And now inhale, lift and squeeze. Kegel muscles and hold. Breathing, still holding. And relax. Relax down. Okay, slide your feet behind you for cat cow. But cat cow with kegel muscle squeezes, lifting the pelvic floor. So inhale, exhale. Squeeze the muscles on the exhale here as your arch. Inhale, relax them. Exhale, squeeze, tucking in the tailbone. Inhale, relaxed. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, relaxed. Exhale, squeeze and hold. And inhale, relax, down, seated. Take a few breaths here just to notice your pelvic floor being in tune with your body. Okay, feet out in front of you, and if you have time, join me for O breath. This won't be strengthening the muscles. Um, this is just a relaxation technique. So if you have time, join me in this last exercise. Coming back, legs are about a foot apart, relaxed. Flat on the floor. You can also drop your knees to the side if that is comfortable, even having blocks or pillows under here. Hmm. However you're gonna be comfortable breathing, I just like to have my knees up, slightly relaxed. The breath is through the mouth wide, a wide O breath. Breathing in and out the mouth, shaped like an O. Inhale through your mouth and squeeze your PC muscles, Kegel muscles. Exhale, relax. So go with your own flow, breathing in and out your mouth. Okay, now we're going to switch the breath. Put your hands on your lower belly, and I want you to lift. No Kegel muscles with this to finish. We're going to relax our muscles to end with. So inhale with that same O breath, but inhale, lift your hands up. Feel your whole pelvic floor and your Stump, lower belly, stomach with air, let it out. And again, inhale and feel everything like it's a balloon or a bowl filling with air. Exhale, down and out. A couple more times, inhale and hold. Your belly is full. Exhale, push that air out. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Well, that's it. That's a quick little workout slash yoga to work the muscles and de-stress the pelvic floor area and get fresh new energy and blood flow there. You may feel a little more sensual and alive in your pelvic area. And you can use that right now to do whatever you like, move around, create new things in your life, get to work, use that creative energy however you like. And in the future, you can do this in order or you can pick and choose, you know, maybe doing the warm up, not doing the warm up, or just picking a couple. My favorite to do would be the bridge pose, especially for beginners, it really helps beginners engage all of those muscles and feel them more than the other poses or just using the jade egg. 
So it's a great one and it works the booty muscles and the hip muscles and the leg muscles. So multi-purpose and the lower belly. So we can be doing all that and our vagina muscles all together. So I hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed teaching this and there's one more free video on Shade Egg on the website and yeah, send me an email if you want me to do more pelvic floor workouts because they're pretty cool. So see you ladies next time.